Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Selfish Games. Darby, checking out Super Mario Maker World Engine. So what is this? This is a fan game of Super Mario Maker where you make your own levels and you can play it on PC and on mobile and it's free. I'll put links in the description down below if you want to check it out. Let's do that right now. Let's check out create mode. Maybe next time we'll do some levels. But I want to check out the create mode. This feels a lot like Super Mario Maker 2. This looks very Mario Maker 2-ish. Uh, there is a new enemy that I had seen and I believe you get it with the thwomp. Check this out. You hold down the thwomp, you get this rolly thwomp, which is super duper cool. So if we put down some land real quick, put them behind you, above you, I don't know, hit play. And he went the wrong way, dang it. <laughs> That's not very helpful, dude. All right, here we go, hit play. And you can make the giant rolly thwomp chase you. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll make a level based around this Rolly Thwomp. I'm not really sure what he's called, but I'm gonna call him Rolly Thwomp, because I like that. It sounds kind of cool. We have Volcano not available. It looks like there's gonna be a beach theme. We do have Forest theme, which looks really cool. In addition to the themes, we have Mario 3 style. Ooh, I really like the Forest Mario 3 style. And the Rolly guy looks really, like, happy now. He's smiling. Ooh, and check out all the leaves falling. This game style is pretty dang cool. Maybe we'll use that. Uh, we also have Mario World, which has uh, parallax scrolling, it appears. That's pretty cool. The leaves look really nice. I assume we can spin on the guy, right? Can we spin on you, my friend? Yeah, we can spin on him. That could be fun. And we also have New Super Mario Bros. U, but it's kind of super duper pixelated. So it looks like New Super Mario Brothers, which is pretty cool as well. And the uh, Rolly Thwomp is extra spiky now, and he looks very scary with his red eyes. All right, in addition to Rolly Thwomp, we have a couple other new enemies as well. I don't think we have any of the Koopalings yet. There's definitely stuff that's grayed out, meaning it's not available yet. But you know, it's a game that's a work in progress. We do have Bony Beats, which is super cool. Bony Beats are the Buzzy Beetles that look like dry bones in Buzzy Beetle form. And they stop every once in a while and try to spike you. If you hit them, they will crumble into little bones and come back just like a dry bones. Pretty cool. When in spike form, you can spin on them, which is super nice. In addition to Bony Beats, we have one other new enemy, which is the Charge and Chuck, but it looks like a sludge bro right now. Okay, so in this style, we don't have it, but in the other styles, we have Charge and Chucks. How cool is that? Charge and Chucks and Mario Maker, sort of. Mario Maker World Engine, which is a lot like Mario Maker. Who's gonna go download this game and play it? All right, I think we gotta go with the Force style. It just looks really cool. All right, all right, all right. So let's introduce this new enemy to everybody, even though anyone playing this game's seen it before. All right, so here we go. Rolly Thwomp, let's say we start here. Will we see the Rolly Thwomp go into the gap? We would. So that's pretty cool. We see the new character, the new enemy. Maybe he could come a little bit quicker, and maybe to slow us down, I could put some uh, goodies right here, you know? Why not? Alright, so we start our level, we see the guy roll, go into the old gap of Roo. Alright, it's a start! Maybe we'll put our charge and chuck here. Maybe some coins here. All right, I want to introduce the Chuck as well. So there he is. He can't get over the pipe, so he's an easy kill. Maybe we'll put him back a little bit. Cool to see him charge over. All right, we got a little level started here. It's not perfect, but you know, we're just having some fun getting used to the level maker. So now if we come over here, the Charging Chuck advances us. I like that a little better than him just waiting at the pipe. Bonk his head a bunch of times. I like having question mark blocks that don't really have anything in them, you know, just so that people don't know every single time there's a question mark block, something good will be there. But if you get adventurous and hit this block, you'll find a vine. Go up here to this cloud thing. Oh, we can't go through this cloud. What's that cloud do though? We need to know. Right, let's try this again. Go up here. We're quicker than the vine. If we go left. Oh, it's a bouncy cloud. That's kind of cool, but we don't want that, but that's still cool to know. Climb up the old vine -a -roo. There's a bunch of coins over there. There's a 30 coin coin. If we jump over here, and ride this coin down and get some more. And we land on the pipe. So if we didn't get the charge and chuck, we're safe. Cool. It's not amazing, but you know, it's been a while since I made a level. I'm trying my best here. Let's see what happens when we drag you into a pipe. 
I don't think we can do sub areas yet, as far as I can tell. Now it might be a fun time to uh, put some bouncy clouds down. Another quick note, because you're probably gonna wonder why I'm not using certain things. Slopes are not in here yet. Spike tops are not in the game yet. Rocky wrenches are not in the game yet. And couplings are not in the game yet. Looks like skewers, claws, and seesaws are not in the game yet. Tracks and conveyor belts not in the game yet. Snake blocks not in the game yet. But we got quite a lot of things to work with still. See how that feels. Cub burrowing, watch out for you. Then we have the bony beats we can jump over. Feel like it could be a little trickier, so maybe we do double bony beats? Are we talking du double bony beats right now? Play. All right, over you, I gotta delete that block that appeared so we can crush them if we're quick. I wish there was a way we could slow them down to where their spikes would actually become a little bit of a problem, but maybe starting from the beginning of the level it'll work out. And we can figure out if two bony beats is one too many. So now we have the bony beats here. And we can spin since it's Mario World, so no big deal. Let's get a little trickier with our clouds now. on the bouncy cloud. Oh, it's kind of easy to mess up there. We could drag that up one more, it'd look a little better. There's our bony beats, which we can spin on, if you remember to spin in Mario World. Bounce over here, bounce over here. Oh my gosh, there's spikes and he's throwing spike balls. Pretty easy overall though. Okay, we got another bony beat. Oops. If we would have kept our mushroom, we could have got fire flower. The coins kind of make us go up here. We can avoid the charge and chuck. Or get hit by him. Whoa! <laughs> you can get a bunch of one-ups from the charging shot. Cool. Now we need to do something with Rolly Thwomp again, I feel like. Maybe we could enter another mountain like area or cave or whatever. Okay, so we need to go down in here. We got a dang rolly guy in our way, so we can go in here. Wait till he goes by. Jump up. Even if we were big, we could duck there, and then we gotta jump up to this one. Well, let's try this again. This was an accident, but somehow I multi-layered that and it gives it kind of like a 3D look. It's kind of cool. Get up here quickly, get the vine, don't get smashed. Go up here. Once we're up here, we're stuck up here, so we should be careful. Right? Woo! That's a little close for comfort. Yeah, hold on, I got an idea. Right there's a safe spot. I like that. Let's do that. If we go up here and we're like, oh no, where do we go? We can go right here to be safe, which is pretty cool. And we gotta go up here to dodge him. Get that and go up here. That was pretty cool. I feel like we could maybe make a little hiding spot right there as well. And I think this is a great place for a checkpoint. Cool. Now we need to make a section where one of these chases us, I think, and then we just make that the rest of the level. That would be pretty cool. So I've been at quite a holdup. This guy somehow keeps getting out of here. So I've tried rearranging this. Now I'm trying one-way walls. I don't know what else to do. We're just gonna see if this will work. Wish me luck. Because with this breaking, it's kind of ruining the level. All right, I keep starting from the beginning because when you start from the beginning of the level, it changes how all these enemies load. It seems like enemies just load straight from the get-go on this game. I could be wrong. It's the way it's definitely feeling right now. I can already hear him hitting the one-way walls, which isn't a good sign, probably. This section here we might 
uh, need to rearrange a little bit. Seems like it's a little bit tricky to get through there. As you can see here, he's actually here again. So he reloaded. If we hit it now, he gets hung up on that one-way wall. Hmm. Seems pretty good. We get up here in time, we get the checkpoint. See, he's gone again! He's supposed to be in the middle there! I don't know how he's glitching through. It's really frustrating, though. <sighs> it's ruining the rest of my level. What if we use doors? Will that reload everything? Not as pretty as I'd like, but if it works at this point, I don't care. So there's definitely some things that are a little glitchy with this maker, as any maker game. You gotta play around with the quirks a bit. I also wanna put some coins in these to kinda let people know that's a good place to hide. I put coins over the vine. I put coins over the vine. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's try this one more time and hope this magically fixes all our problems. And if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of noise over there. He's actually seems stuck there this time. So why is it working now and it wasn't before? I don't know. Go through the door. And he comes down after us. I mean, that's closer, but it almost seems like it's working now, like we don't even need the door. Okay, now we can go this way. We need something to slow us down a bit. Okay. All right, this is one of those things that takes forever to test, because we gotta wait for this P-switch every time, but I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be pretty cool. So now he's close behind us. Spin on him. I wonder if the bonsai bills... Let's see here. Hopefully they load when you're within like a screen or something, so we don't get them too early. Ooh, that killed him that time. So we need to make that one shorter. Let's try that. Hey, we're learning something every time we test it! Now we can hide down in here. Jump up, get ready to go. Go, 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 Blue Toad. Bony beats, we can spin over. He breaks through those. He was a little, a little earlier than I would have liked. All right, then we have the spinny thwomp. Gets really close to us. And miss him. I like that he destroys all the enemies. We see him, we duck. And that makes him go by. What if, could he get under us? Bounces back. All right, I thought solid blocks would work here, but I think we want spinny blocks. Okay, let's see how this feels. Jump on the P switch. We go right. He comes down to try to kill us. We hide here. I think we're making some progress on our level. Just trying to get all this timing right. It's tricky. It's pretty close here. Like you can jump over him. Here, this will slow us down a little bit. And then he didn't go through. Maybe they call it be one row. He destroys all those. We need to go up through here. There we go. It'll only be one row. That's actually kind of cool. It seems like auto scrolling would have worked better for this. All right, this'll work. On off switches, we'll make it work. That's fine. It's not going exactly how I planned. I think if you really wanted to make a really good level with this mechanic, an auto scrolling level might work better, but that's okay. And it's like, hey, hit this. Go up here. Cool. Hit that. Easy one. Big old swoopy jump. Hit that. That's... That's really close. Okay. Changes. He slows us down pretty good. 
that too close, though. That's actually really cool. Okay, that's... It's getting more intense. It's just... It's like I need them to... I think if we made this third one a little easier. Like that. I think that'll be good. Alright. Okay. Get that. That. Whew, that's so close. Oh, man. Okay. Boom. Oh, that's so close. We were going pretty fast and we knew exactly what to do, so we gotta keep that in mind. Here put some coins by these switches. Man, it just needs to be like one second quicker. Can we put him in front of the arrow? We can't. So those still slow you down a little bit. He's a rolling pretty quick though. Go up here, hit that. That feels pretty good. I like it. Okay. All right. So I'm about two hours into making the level. <laughs> And apparently I can't even make the first jump. Cool! Checkpoint, hit the P-switch, fall down. He vanished. He made it that whole time until now, and then finally broke. I don't know where he went. Now we're trapped in here. That's pretty awesome. Let's make a place here we can die. I don't understand why he's glitching out. Get our beautiful checkpoint, we hit the P-switch, we fall down. <gasps> I think it's finally working! The coin's like, hey, go in here, you loser. Oh, we lost our mushroom. I need to make it through here with the mushroom. Oh, the bumper actually makes it a little harder. So that's kind of evil. We're gonna try spinning. So if you do spin here, you can save yourself. But the good thing is, is that it worked! I think we've completed this dang level. Um, we could probably add a little bit more decorating stuff if we wanted to. All right, BTG level. That's right, Blue Toad, let's go. Let's see if our level doesn't break. All right, so, so far, everything seems all right. We got our charge and chuck. I'm gonna play this like I'd be playing a normal level, super casually. I wonder how to get those coins. Maybe I would look here and find this beautiful piranha plant. All right, the piranha plant up. We got a safe transport down, or, you know, you can skip the donut block if you're crazy like me. Over you, watch out for the old buzzy beats, or bony beats, I guess. I know he doesn't really fit in this particular theme, but I just wanted to uh, try it. Maybe after we play my level, I'll go back and try it in some different game styles and see which one we like better. All right, because I like this one, but I feel like the bony beats would fit better in a castle stage. So maybe we'll try switching over to like Mario 3 castle. I don't know, let's mess with the level a little bit and see what looks, you know, better or worse. Okay, I don't want to die here, so let's let him go back by. I'm taking my time here, and it's pretty easy to not get hit if you take your time. Of course, we know exactly what to do, because we've been building this level for, you know, two hours or whatever. I love these Rolly Thwomp guys. So, I don't think we could put coins on top of vines. That would have been nice. There's our checkpoint, so if we end up down here... Oh, jeez. He's already over here, so he busted through again. Does that break the level? Broke the level. Great! So, as you can see here, my level's semi-broken, but if we load from the checkpoint, it looks like it'll work alright. So, for some reason, these Rolly Thwomp guys glitch through walls sometimes. Maybe eventually they'll fix that. But, you know, we know how to beat it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we got killed by <laughs> Bodie Beats. Oops. This checkpoint's in a good spot, I feel like. Because this is probably the trickiest part, and it's also the part that breaks. It's funny that when it loads, all the leaves will slowly fall again. Like the wind just recently blew or something. Oh my gosh, that bumper is evil. <laughs> That's in an evil spot. So I wonder if it's going vertical that's causing this to break. When I had it up higher, it was breaking. When I have them down lower, it's breaking. I bet that's the case. Might get rid of that bumper. It's a little bit evil. We could spin, we can cheese it. 
the spin works at least, so if you have trouble getting through that part for one reason or another, don't be afraid to spin there, I guess. Alright, so the level's definitely rough around the edges. Some of it's due to some glitches in the game, but overall that was pretty cool, I thought. Alright, let's hop back into the creator, and let's switch stuff up and just kind of see how this feels with different game styles. Here's Mario 3. Let's try it as a castle level and see how it feels. That's one of my favorite things in Mario Maker was making a level in one game style, then switching it up and seeing how it looks. A charge and Chuck looks sweet in Mario 3 style. Clouds in a castle, why not? Weirdly, the decorations and everything flow really well switching up the game style here. But the spikes throw their spike balls a little different in this game style. Which kind of screws up this section, you'd have to adjust that. The vines also don't go behind the blocks for some reason. Whew! Spike helped me take out bony beats, that was pretty cool of them. Really need this mushroom. I like how the bony beats look in Mario 3 style though, for sure. The rolly thwomps are so much happier in Mario 3. Very intrigued by how the uh, the actual layout of the level looks nice. There, he's glitching through the wall, so it's probably broken already. Somehow, there's got to be a way we could fix that to where it ran a little smoother. Gotta get the dang vine. Checkpoint. And he's stuck. We might as well just lose on purpose. So I actually think the castle theme is definitely fitting this level a little better. It works as a castle level a little better. So obviously that would have to be changed because we don't have the spinny blocks. Alright, so the game styles obviously do change how you play the levels a little bit. But with a little rearranging, this would work in Mario 3 style just fine. You can't spin on him, so I definitely want to give you a little bit more time to pull that off. And then we have this charge and chuck we can kill with the axe. See you later, chuck! And we probably want to lose the bridge that's there, uh, since we had the Bowser bridge, obviously, in the castle style, but that was pretty cool. All right, let's try a Mario 1. And let's try... I wish some of these other themes were here. Maybe the airship theme? Mmm, what Mario 1's forest looks like. Whoa, that looks really cool. This looks really cool. I think this could work. It's cool seeing all the different game styles. There's old Charge and Chuck trying to ruin my day. Man, it's crazy how much changing the game theme and style can make it feel so much different. Obviously, once again, we'd want to change this section since the spikes throw their spike balls a little different in this game style than Mario World. Let's get our other mushy. I do like the Mario 1 version of these. They look cool. All right, since this section's breaking, let's go back over to here with my little setup here. Grab the mushy over the buzzy beats. That section's a lot harder in this game style than Mario World. So once again, you'd have to rearrange this to make it work in Mario 1 style, but I like the idea of the thing falling you destroying the ground. It'd probably work better in an auto-scrolling level, like we said earlier. All right, let's try the one other game style, New Super Mario Bros. U, but pixelated and more New Super Mario Bros. looking. Cool. Wow, this looks so different. Okay. Some of the decorations and stuff look a little more rough in this game style. I love the uh, googly-eyed rolly thwomp guy. Okay, um, I think Castle's definitely going to just look a little bit better for this game style. Alright, yeah, so it's New Super Mario Bros. U, but it definitely looks like New Super Mario Bros. for sure, with those pixelated 3D looking graphics. No charge and chuck, so we have to deal with the sledge bro, who's doing a good job of ruining our day. Yeah, once again, I think this level definitely works better as a castle level, but I just really like that forest theme. Spikes are back to working a little bit more as intended. The twirls make this level a lot easier. Having the twirls is definitely nice. We got our googly-eyed, uh, rolly thwomps. I really need to figure out what these things are called. They cannot be called googly-eyed rolly thwomps, that's for sure. But most of the level still works pretty well in this game style. It's a little bit closer to Mario World than the other styles, so it makes sense. And the decorations actually look pretty good too for the castle, translating over. Sometimes you know things won't look right, but for the most part, this looks pretty cool. Those little hideaway spots work really well. I think this thing broke again, I don't hear it bouncing around. Okay, so let's 
load this here. But somehow, some way, we'd have to figure out a way to keep this from breaking. So far, we've been unable to do that, sadly. It looks like it might work. It looks like if you make it to the checkpoint, it should still work all right. I'm a nice guy and give you an extra mushroom, because we'll need it in this game style. That won't be there if you play the Mario World one. And we made it just in time. Perfect. And there's a sledge bro at the end. Ground pound on the axe. And totally miss it. Finish the level. Cool. That's right. Mario number one. Luigi number one. Mario number one. Everyone's number one, right? All right, then we are back in the Mario World version, which I think looks the best. All right, if you want to see some more Super Mario Maker World Engine, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to see me play some other people's levels, let me know as well. I think it could be fun to check out some other people's levels for sure. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you knew the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I release new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join the BTG Discord, check out my merch store, all down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.